Hey, it's Russell from TC Electronic, and today we have the amazing pleasure of sitting in with Johnny Highland. How are you doing, Johnny? Good, Russell. How are you, buddy? I'm very good, thanks. We've been sitting for the last, what, hour or so dialing in one of Johnny's tone prints, and it's quite a unique tone print based on the kind of delay that the delay in modulation that you'd want to use if you're playing steel um, on guitar, which is kind of cool. Maybe you want to... Yeah, man. Well, you know, I think the most beautiful thing is, guys, is as you're a country guitar player and you're in the business trying to do all the steel guitar bends, you know, we love to to try to find a way to create the sustain that a steel player would use or would get using the bar on the strings. Well, where we don't have that, it, we kind of rely on a delay, and then most delays that you find will not give you the modulation and the creamy, pretty sound that we would uh, need. So I think we dialed in something really nice, you know, that has that... really nice and there's some really nice pretty modulated roll-offs that oh man it's just uh honky-tonk heaven but it's what it is <laughs> hey there's our name right there that's what we're going to call it honky-tonk heaven and it does sound amazing and what i think is really neat you've chosen the modulation is is a flange it's a slow moving flange right. which has a little bit of a coarsey effect but it's definitely a flanger and i think that sounds really cool and uh a lot different than a lot of the tone prints that we have currently already. Wonderful, man. You know, we most people would say, well, why would Johnny Highland create something like that? They would expect a slap back or a... But look, I'm a big Albert Lee fan. I know he has a slap delay for a tone print, and that's great. So I wanted to create something that was uh, quite a bit different that, you know, guys could use that are really trying to recreate that steel guitar tone. Right, and you found that you stuck with the same delay time. So we've mapped the exact same delay time that Johnny uses. It's 482 milliseconds. So when you download the tone print, don't get upset when you twist and play around with the delay time knob because it won't change. It's, it's dialed in to be 482 milliseconds no matter where you turn the dial. Um, you can still get a different delay time if you hold the switch down and do the audio, audio, audio tap. You can change the delay time that way. But we've decided that since Johnny doesn't change, you don't change your delay time Not at all. Not at all. We're going to keep the tone print at 482 milliseconds. And you know, Russell, the funny thing is, man, is I've used this same uh, sound that, in, that I created before off my X4 and used it in many different applications. So when I'm playing a, you know, a rock tune on stage with my band or, you know, there's so many different applications. And no, I've never had to change the actual delay time uh, you know, the only thing that I really wanted to make sure we did was allow, you know, how much of it you had or if you wanted to bring it down a little bit. But no, I think that's important to kind of keep that same, that same uh, delay time. So I've never changed mine. For sure. And, and with the feedback, we spent a lot of time dialing in the perfect amount of repeats. It's about seven, eight repeats before it completely fades out. Right. So on the feedback knob at 12 o'clock, you've got seven or eight repeats. And we give a, you decide to give a little bit of play with that. When, when you turn the knob all the way down, you've got uh, 25%. Well, I, I wanted to give, uh, you know, the tone print users, you know, some flexibility. I didn't want to make it to where it was just completely, here's the Johnny Highland tone and like it or not. But, you know, so you do have to, you know, let's face it, guys. We love to turn knobs and play with, with effects. And when we're on the stage, we want to be, we want to have our uh, delay to be as effective as possible. So to be able to have the room to move, the delay time without being able to just take it completely away to where, uh, you know, in messing with the pedal, yeah, you can take it way out. But I didn't want you to lose the actual functionality and effectiveness of what created this actual steel guitar swelling kind of sound. So we gave you a, you know, a kind of tight window to work from to where you can loosen it up or you can tighten it up. So I just hope it's, uh, it works out for y'all. Yeah, it sounds amazing. So uh, when you download the tone print, put all the knobs at 12 o'clock, and that's the Johnny Highland sound. If, if you want some more repeats, uh, crank it all the way up. You've got probably 10 or 11 repeats before it fades out. But it's a pretty amazing sound. Thanks again for doing this with us, Johnny. It's Absolutely, awesome. and man, i, I got to thank you all at TC for creating such a wonderful delay where we have these freedoms to... You know, I've been looking for this delay sound that we created today for a long time, so it's really a dream come true for me. I'd love to play you out, buddy. You bet. Awesome.